Yo, Tobe, you too. What's going on with you? The boy, 72 Grand Prix boy, with a long review. Hey, this is my first review, y'all. This is very epic. This is like, oh man. I never thought I'd be doing cologne reviews on my car channel. But before I get this popping, y'all, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share my videos. I want to thank you guys for supporting me. My subscribers now that has supported me from day one up to now. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the viewers that just scrolling through YouTube and seeing my videos. I want to thank you for that. Um, I really appreciate it. Continue to keep supporting your boy 72. And I'm gonna try to continue to keep bringing you guys just good content when it comes to cars and cologne. All right. So, as in the description, what it says, top six all black cologne, y'all. Fall and winter fragrances. My one of my top six. I have a whole lot more, but I'm just gonna do six for right now. I'm just gonna do six. Um, so let's get it started. Number one, and before I show this to you guys, uh, like I said in my first introduction a couple weeks ago when I was uh, introducing the Cologne channel uh, to you guys, I said I was going to do old school Colognes and new school. So my, my review and my collection is going to be based on old school and new Colognes. So number one, we have... Curve Black. Curve Black, guys. I know you guys remember this. Oh, man, this goes back. This goes back, man. This Curve Black smells good, guys. It smells really good. It smells better now than it did back in the day. Uh, you younger generation cats, you don't know nothing about uh, this. Well, now you do. Add it to your collection. Add it to the collection. It has that violet leaf, that bergamot, and leather sandalwood. Uh, hey, God, this is, you can wear this as a daily wearer, and you get a lot of compliments on this curve, man. You get a lot of compliments on it. Um, to me, also, I smell grapefruit and lemon in it. Also, um, it's just a, very popular underrated cologne you know guys get it in your collection all right have your all black your all blue your all reds that's how i'm gonna do my collection since i'm starting this uh cologne review uh added to my channel man my room smell like macy's in here y'all macy's department this is a hair turner y'all this is a hair turner Please add this to your collection. Curve, black. Yeah, I'm feeling it. When I smelt it, when I re-smelt it from back in the day and then smelt it again now in the present, I'm like, man, it's, it's, it's better than it was back in the day. All right, guys, my number two. From the house of Valentine Milano. Yes, this is a new cologne. This is something that I was just experimenting. I was online, I was strolling through eBay and uh, Amazon. And I'm like, oh man, let me try that. Smells, An another head turner guys. Another head turner, another head turner there. This is, uh, this also has like a fresh, uh, masculine scent though. I do smell a little of the woody. This is also good for fall and winter. Um, you can wear this date night. You can go to the bar, uh, a church, if that's your thing. Um, it's, it's, it's an all around cologne. I never heard of it, my, and you guys pretty sure, I'm pretty sure some of you guys probably never heard of it, even especially guys that's trying to start a cologne collection. This is one that you wanna put in your collection. 
This is the one. This is the one. You, this is one. Uh, guys, just ask any female if you want to get their uh, their preference or their uh, opinion on this. Spray this. And I guarantee you they will tell you, yes, that is the ish right there. That is the ish. Yes. I like it. I've been wearing it a lot lately. I've been wearing it a lot. I really, really like this Valentin Milano. From the house of Valentin, we have Milano. We have Milano, guys. It smells really good. Number three. We have from the house of Mercedes Benz. Man. Guys, this bottle alone just, just grabbed my attention. Another woody masculine cologne to wear in the fall and winter. Um, it just stands out, guys. It, it stands out. The bottle, let's just talk about the bottle. This make you wanna go buy a Mercedes. Uh, Cause every time I look at it, uh, I really wanna own a Mercedes. Because of the logo, it just make you you feel rich or like you got a lot of money or something. Um, it's very attractive. It smells really good. The notes in it are pear, amber seeds. And we have some woody musk to it too. Very, very, very impressed. I'm very impressed with this Mercedes Benz. It, it, it took a while to grow me guys at first I kind of wasn't into it. I like the lemon, sweet citrus, red apple cologne, floral. I'm more of a floral guy. Um and this here, you know, it's it's more of a woody musk. And I do smell the pear. And actually I, I smell a little hazelnut in it too. But it's just the bottle itself, y'all. Look at the back of it. Look at the back. And then, of course, the front is iconic. The front is iconic. You know, this is another one that you guys will want to add to your collection. Yeah, this is another one that you want to add to your collection. From the house of Mercedes Benz, we have man. Guys, get it in your new collection. So, number four. We had from the house of Victor and Roth Spice Bottle Night Vision. Guys, once again, a distinguished bottle. Let's talk about this, 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 this bottle for a minute. Now, this is like a grenade. You know, you got a pin, you know, with, with, with military, army people, you know, like, and throw it. Yeah. You pull the pin and you got what? I don't know, 20 seconds, 15 seconds? And if you don't, everything, you your whole, you, you out of here. You on the other side. This is a distinguished bottle. When I first received it, I was like, man, this is sweet. This is real sweet. And the smell of it, y'all. I mean, it, it, I ain't never smelled nothing like this before. This is, it smells so good. It's a different smell. I, I smell lemon. I even smell a little uh, cinnamon in it. But the um, the notes in it are, um, you have green cardamom and you have grapefruit and you have black chili and black peppers in this. Wow. Yes. Very impressed. I'm very impressed. Victor and Raw. You did your thing on this. I believe they have, uh, I think, two or three other ones than this. They have the the gold. This is gold right here. This part is gold. I don't. I'm not sure which one is it, the night vision or just the regular. But I do want to smell an album just to, out of curiosity to see what it smells like and what what tops this night vision. But this here is really really good. I'm very impressed, guys. Very very impressed. Every time I look at this bottle, I, I, I want to pull this pen, um, but not if it was real. <laughs> not if it was real, guys. Victor and Roth, Spice Bottle. Also added to your collection, guys. All right. 
Number five, we have Mont Block. I hope I said that right. This is another one that I was unfamiliar with. Unfamiliar with. It smells really good. Yes. Smells really good. Now this is this is one uh, that you would wear like to a formal event. Uh, I say maybe like a like a a, a, a a certain gathering, a black tie affair. This is more like a black tie affair event cologne. Um, you can also wear date night. I believe uh, the lady that you with, she would be all on your neck, on your ear with this. Uh, this also gets good reviews online, uh, eBay and on Amazon, Macy's. Uh, very, very seductive cologne. Uh, kind of tantalizing too, guys. Uh, it's just, the bottle is so small and they won't, you know, kind of a lot for this cologne. You have to catch it on sale. But, hey, I guess you gotta make your money too. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. All right, guys. We are last one. Number six. Say the best for last. <laughs> From the house of Carolina Herrera, we have Bad Boy. Guys, look at the size of it. Look at the size and the shape of that bottle. That bottle is eclectic. Look at it. It's different. It's very attractive. Very attractive. Very attractive bottle, guys. I'm really impressed the style of this bottle. When I first seen it, when I first got it, I'm like, what the heck is this? You know, and it took me a while to figure out how to spread. You gotta hit it up here. You know, you gotta hit it here. I kept figuring out, how do you spray this thing? Wow. Let's talk about the, the shape of the bottle before um, we get to the smell of the fragrance. You got the cut here, and then it comes up here. And look how this is right here. And then it comes out that way, this here. I, I, when I spray it, I smell it. It stands out. And first, it took a while for me to adjust to this too, because it's a, it's a good uh, masculine woody must smell. It's good for the fall. Uh, it's good for the winter. I wouldn't wear this in the summertime. It's or spring is a little too overpowering. Uh, it has too much of a masculine woody um, smell to it. You know, you want to have your certain colognes for certain seasons. Um, you want to have your spring. You want to have your summer. You want to have your fall. You want to have your winter uh, fragrances. Um, because it, you know, it just if you if you wear winter with with spring, it's gonna be off. And then a lot of colognes go with your body chemistry. Uh, your body chemistry might not act right with a certain cologne, and then you're not gonna smell right. People gonna say he's fine, you know. So you don't want that. So guys, just you know, take your time on. Uh, you know, picking your cologne for your uh, to to match your body chemistry. Um, it might take a while. You might have to go through a lot of colognes, you know, to um, figure it out. Um, I know a, a couple of my favorites, and I'm gonna get to them when I make more of these cologne reviews uh, videos. Is one of my one of my favorites that I can wear all the time to stand out, and that's Paris Hilton for men. Actually, it's two: Paris Hilton for men and Nautical Voyage. Those are one of my two favorites um, that I can just wear all the time for the rest of my life. And I will be content. I will be content, very content. Yup. This smells really good, guys. Um, the smell is it's different, man. I never smelled nothing like this before. Get it in your collection, guys. Get it in your collection. You need to with the shape of that bottle. It smells good. From the house of Carolina Herrera. Bad boy, y'all. Bad boy. Yup. All the guys out there, 
that, that think you a bad boy or whatever, you might want to get this cologne. It'll match your image. Bad boy. Yeah. Bad boy. All right, guys. That's my top six. All black, fall and winter cologne. Um, yeah, take heed to the colognes that I just presented to you. For all you newcomers, guys, that's trying to get into the cologne, maybe to impress a certain female that you uh, are interested in, women love for a man to smell good, guys. I said it before, I'm gonna continue to keep saying it throughout these cologne reviews that I make. Um, you have to smell good, dress nice, keep yourself presentable, good oral hygiene or everything. Uh, and you would you would get that girl that you're looking for, or that woman, whether it be for a girlfriend, a wife, soulmate, or whatever. But you have to take care of yourself. And smelling good is very important. When you walk into a room, you want to all eyes on you. You want that cologne, not to overpower people, but you want them to be like, man, what is that he have on? You know, so my older jets too, you know, that fell off on the cologne tip. I'm here to put you guys back on the cologne tip. All right. So I'm about to conclude this video. Once again, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Continue to keep supporting your boy 72. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all look out for one another. And most of all, stay safe. Love y'all. Peace.